of days ago, we ended up doing a video showcasing a little bit of how much it would cost you to get one rare skin within Modern Warfare Remastered, that being the Captain Price skin, which was the collection reward for the entire Copperhead collection, meaning that you had to go through around 60 or so collections to end up unlocking this and as if clockwork timing somebody actually unlocked it a few days later after we made that video and our estimations were right around on point here for this given that we just used rough estimation in terms of how much you'd unlock for duplicates how many keys you'd need and all that kind of stuff so it turned out to be relatively accurate and with that said it got me thinking a little bit further on how much we could end up seeing some of these things go, how deep the rabbit hole could become in terms of monetary value for some things that are in game and everything like that. And with the release of new DLC within Black Ops 3, it got me thinking, how much would you need to spend in order to get every single DLC weapon within Black Ops 3? And this is one you might want to hold on to your hats for because it's pretty out there. It's pretty crazy. We're only talking about DLC weapons, not camos, not emblems, nothing like that that fills up the rest of the thousands of items in that collection pool that you can pull from in Black Ops 3. So that said, we're going to be breaking it down here today using rough estimations once again and giving you guys three different ways that you can end up doing this with different totals for the outcome of how much every DLC weapon in Black Ops 3 would cost. So first thing right off the bat, let's set up the parameters and make those clear for you guys on what I use to pull all these numbers. Firstly, I'm taking three different categories, one strictly being from the big box bundle in which it's a little bit more of a better value value for what you'd get for rare supply drops than if you actually paid for them. Secondly, we'll be taking a look at rare supply drops only as if you were paying with COD points. And then finally, we'll be taking a look at just crypto key grind, how long it would take you in terms of playtime if you were to end up getting theoretically the same sort of luck carried across all these other platforms, but just in terms of playtime needed, not monetary value. Additionally, the sort of ratios that I'll be pulling are from the best and worst big box bundles that I've had. So again, this this kind of puts it into a little bit of a specific column where some people may say that the drop luck for these is increased with the big box bundle, so bear that in mind as well. But those are the parameters that I used here, and it's still pretty astonishing, even if it does end up being that you'd get less drop luck in just say regular supply drops. But I digress, let's jump right into the breakdown here of this. So firstly, the best big box bundle ratio that I've had was 130 drops with seven weapons yielded out of that. So that roughly averages out to be one weapon every 18.57 drops. Now the big box bundle initially is $40, a rate of about 40 cents per drop. And normally the non-discounted rate would be 20,000 COD points. That would bring you up to that 100 drops that you'd end up needing here for that to end up getting that. So whenever you actually take it into equaling those two out, you'd need to multiply the 5,000 COD points for that $40 that you'd normally be spending by four to bring that up to 20,000 COD points. So the whole thing would roughly cost you $160 if you were not using a big box bundle. But with the discounted rates, we'd end up getting that. And with 46 total weapons, theoretically that 160 equivalent would grant you seven weapons. So 46 divided by seven would give you the necessity to do all that 6.57 more times. And you multiply that by the total and you'd end up getting $1,051.42 for the big box bundle variation here of that to end up getting every single weapon. And that's assuming that you don't get any duplicates. That's taking into consideration that that entire time, that is all seven brand new weapons. And while that's really tough to exclude any duplicates out, it's something that's, this is absolute best case scenario. Now again, while this is best case scenario, let's take a look at the flip side and see my absolute worst big box bundle opening luck for this one with again, taking into consideration, no duplicates. I ended up opening 160 drops and only got three weapons that were not duplicates. So that means that I would end up getting a brand new DLC weapon once every 53.33 drops on that sort of luck, which again, 46 divided by three means you'd have to do that 15.33 times. So multiply that again by our equivalent number of $160 for the standard cost of a big box bundle, that non-discounted 100 supply drops, it would end up being $2,453 dollars and 33 cents that's a pretty big range there a range of 1400 more dollars on top of that so that's pretty crazy when you take a look at it and consider it all for what it is but if you break it down into strictly cod points with absolutely no discount whatsoever you're paying two dollars per supply drop 
And that said, once again, your individual rate not taking out, again, those discounts for the COD points and bulk, everything like that, you'd end up paying $200 for that 100 supply drops. And so following the same equation here that we've had, seven of 46 for $200 means that you'd end up having to do $200 6.57 more times, and that would give you a whopping total of 1,314 for all of those weapons. Now, if you take the low ball of that, you'd have to do three weapons out of those 46, and meaning you'd have to do it 15.33 more times for $200. And that is, again, a total of $3,066. So another massive range here. But while the majority of us will never touch that amount or even be willing to spend close to that amount, that's where you're gonna be at here for the very best case scenario. Once again, with absolutely no duplicates thrown in on top of that. So with that in mind, how does this then work out if we were to just say throw it around with just playtime? Because this is where, for those people that love to grind out keys and where they don't want to give into the COD point system at all, this is where it becomes incredibly hard. And in all actuality, this part might actually shock you. Not to sound cliche or anything, but it's pretty crazy. So let's start out with the base equivalents here. Firstly, once again, one supply drop with crypto keys is 30 keys. So you take that into consideration, you're probably gonna get around three keys on average without a double crypto key weekend or something like that happening within Black Ops 3. So three keys for one game. And one game usually to end up getting that because crypto keys are based on time, it's usually gonna take about 10 minutes to get three keys out of that. So with that said, 10 games needed to multiply that three to 30, 10 games at 10 minutes, that will grant you a drop every 1.6 hours. Now let's take that and put it into our best ratio here with this of the big box bundle comparisons. 130 drops for seven weapons. That's something that if you multiply 1.6 hours for one drop and then bring that up to 130, you'd end up needing to spend 208 hours of playtime or 8.6 days. Now, if you also put that into consideration for the lowest possible of the best case scenarios here in which we ended up doing 160 drops for three weapons, that would then need you to bring up that 1.6 hours for one drop to 160 drops. That would then be 266.6 hours or 11.11 days. So let's break this down even further because that's only a portion of the total weapons that you'd be getting out of all these drops. So we're gonna split this once again into a high and low. We're we're gonna take these different equations that we've built and then take them and multiply them out to complete all 46 weapons in the black market as of now in supply drops. So once again, let's start out with the high in which you ended up doing 130 drops for seven weapons, that kind of thing. So once again, we've already come to the conclusion that this would take you 8.6 days to get seven weapons, but there are 46 once again. So bear that in mind that you're gonna need to do the seven weapons another 6.57 times. That will then take you out to a total play time at the very least of 56.94 days. Now that's pretty crazy. I know a lot of people have a lot of time into Black Ops 3, but nearly two months of play time into the game, that's not something you see very often. Now, let's take a look at the lower of the two portions that we've already equated out here with this. Once again, we're going with an average of 11.11 days for just three of 46 weapons. That would require you to get up to that magic number of 46 to have 100% completion. You'd be required to do that 15.33 more times. So 15.33 more times times that 11.11 days, that brings you to a total play time to get all DLC weapons of 170.31 days to get all DLC weapons within the black market. So you have a range of 56.94 days to 170.31 days, depending on how lucky you could end up being. Now the best part about all of this, this is not even considering any duplicates whatsoever. That's assuming that every supply drop hit you have, you don't get a single duplicate. So these numbers are in all actuality, way lower than what they normally would be. Now to me, that's just absolutely mind boggling to think of. Once again, if you were to spend in cash, at the very least, you'd end up spending $1,051.42, and you could go all the way up to 170.31 days in playtime. So. Is it worth it? 
honestly not in the slightest but I guess some people are way luckier than others some people are way worse with their luck but really I guess it just falls down to what you guys think here so that said drop me your thoughts down there in the comment section down below did you guys see any problems with my math here do you guys have anything to say in terms of how shocking this is or do you think it's perfectly fine whatever it may be feel free to let me know down there in the comment section down below just wanted to bring you guys this because I once again had a lot of fun doing the last one and with new DLC weapons coming out I was trying to think to myself like what's the probability of getting any of this sort of stuff without spending a fortune and without wasting a ton of money in the process so to me I'm glad that I didn't pursue it any further I'm glad though the XMC is awesome I don't think that I'll be putting my luck on that sort of stuff especially now seeing the numbers in the raw form so that said hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you guys did it make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding black ops 3 call of duty world war 2 we're gonna be killing it here with all that kind of stuff and if modern warfare mastered and infinite warfare pique your interest as well stick it right here up on the channel and finally if you guys want to follow me over on twitter that is the best place you can get kicked me outside of youtube and practically live on twitter so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be link is down there in the description below but all that said, out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.